All right, good morning, everyone. So today's workout is consisting of four different blocks of work. Um, two blocks are going to have three exercises in them performed at one minute a piece with very little recovery time in between, really just for transition. And then two blocks will be performed in, in every minute on the minute format uh, for 12 minutes long. You just need dumbbells, a variety of dumbbells today, and a kettlebell if you have it. If you don't, you'll just use a dumbbell for one of those moves. For right now, we're gonna get started with warming up. So let's go ahead and just come into a squat. A very easy squat just to warm up the legs and the hips. Pressing those hips back and down, weights in your heels. Nice, give me one more and then work out just a little bit wider to a sumo squat. Knees and toes are slightly turned out. Dropping those glutes way down, chest is lifted. Awesome, from here, we're just gonna point the, the fingertips down towards the ground. Awesome, I want you to try to touch that ground if you can. And then we're gonna just drive those arms all the way up overhead as we stand. Warming up through the shoulders and start to pick up the pace a little bit. Nice. One more. I want you to go ahead and take those feet hip width apart again, toes pointing far. Let's go ahead and get a deep squat, tuck your toes, um, tuck your fingers under your toes and push your hips up and back. So trying to straighten through the legs, get a big stretch of the hamstrings and the glutes. Give me one more. Now, again, turn those toes and knees out to a sumo position. Keep your fingertips tucked underneath your toes. Use your arms to open up your hips. So you're in um, a deep seated yogi-like squat. See if you can go ahead and press your hips up and back in this position, and then drop the hips back down. Let's just get three more of those. Straighten through the back of the leg. And on the last one, come to standing. And then let's just go ahead into a little jog. A small little jog just to get those legs in a little plyometric. And we're gonna come into jacks. So just regular jumping jacks here. Awesome, just going for five more. Keeping those feet hip with, um, keeping those feet together, side to side hops. So these don't have to be one second hops, it can actually be two second hops. For right now, just warming up. We wanna give the bottom of the feet those arches, a little time to get into this as well. Nice. One more. Walk yourself out, inchworm into a plank, drop to the knees, and then from here, perform a push up. One push up, back to your plank, into a downward dog, back to your plank, drop to the knees, give me two push ups, up to your plank, downward dog. Back to your plank, drop to the knees, give me three push-ups. Up to your plank, downward dog. Back to your plank, drop to the knees, give me four push-ups. Up to your plank, downward dog, last time here. Back to your plank, drop to the knees, give me five push-ups. Good, hold those knees down on the ground, lower your chest to the floor, extend those legs out long, place your hands right underneath your shoulders, give me an up dog, stretch in the front of the body, lower your chest down to the floor, give me a plank and a downward dog, pedal out those heels, stretching through the calf muscles. Let's go ahead and rise that right leg off the ground, big stretch here into that hip, and then take the right foot back to the floor, Left leg is now going to rise. Just lengthen. And then left foot returns to the floor. Back to your plank. Lower all the way down. Upward dog. Big stretch through the front of the body. Awesome. Let's go ahead. Come back up to the plank. Walk those hands all the way in towards your feet. 
Back up for jumping jacks. Here we go. Let's just get 15 jumping jacks here. Nice. Right here, I want you to place your hands right behind your head, elbows nice and wide. Your good morning stretch. Pressing those hips back into a flat spine here, weights in the heels. And I really want you to drive through your, um, drive through your heels to return to standing. Activate the glutes a little bit. Give me two more. Just flat back, powering up. Awesome. From here, just your hip circles. Opening up, coming up and over. Big arm circles that follow. Big arm circles. Stretch and open up through the chest. Take those hands right behind you. Clasp your hands. Pull your arms way back away from your body. Open up through the collarbone. And then rest. Let's go ahead and shake that out. So we're going to go into our first block of work here, which is three exercises performed at one minute a piece. And we're going to do that three times through. Your first exercise, you're going to want a weight that you can perform a snatch with. So remembering that our snatch is from here, palm is going to face the body. And you're gonna drag that arm all the way up and send that arm right over your shoulder. So just making sure that when you come up, that weight doesn't land way out on an angle. That's gonna be a lot of pressure on your shoulder. Palm's gonna face you, you're driving straight up. Elbow comes wide, weight's close to your body. So it's one snatch on the right, and you're gonna come right down to the floor, walk or jump those feet back and give me a push up with your right hand on the weight. It's optional, just adds a little bit of a challenge, elevating that, that, um, that chest. And then you're gonna come in, you're gonna do one snatch on the left, followed by one push up with your left hand on the weight as an option. So that's performed for one minute. Your second move is a lateral hop burpee with four mountain climbers. So we'll take a lateral hop, come into a plank position or mountain climbers, come in, lateral hop over, down to your plank for mountain climbers. Your last exercise in this first group will be on the ground for a chest press. So we're gonna just go single, single, double. Single, single, double. So let's get started. Grab a, grab a weight that you would like to use for your snatch. Pace yourself. You're on for one minute here. Here we go. So we've got one snatch on the right, dropping down, kicking back, one push up. One snatch on the left, dropping down, kicking back, push up on the left. So you can either walk or step those feet back. It's up to you. Whatever feels the best. Good. Give you an idea. You're over the halfway mark. Let's keep going. Great combination move to target the entire body. That's it. good. Nice. Move that weight. Here we have our lateral burpee for mountain climbers. I'll take you through the first couple, and then you're on your own for speed. Pace yourself. Right here. Feet together. Let's go. Lateral hop. Burpee for mountain climbers. Back up. Hop over. Down for the burpee. One, two, three, four climbers. Hop in. Hop over, let's go. If you want to add that push up into your burpee to make it a, a true burpee, you can, but remember, you're working your chest. Next move. Come 
Come on. Time to wake up the body. Right, the sun's gonna hide, but we're gonna shine. You got up, you came out, you're getting it done. Come on. 
come on. Stick with it. Single, single, double. And rest. Back to the top. This is our last round. All right, we go into this three times, and this is round three. Starting with your snatch. Snatch and push up. Here we go. Let's drop. Come on. Get back. Push up. So the chest should be pretty fatigued. close to your body, send it right up over the shoulder. Positioning looks good. Get it in, all the way to the end. And rest. Whew. Lateral hops. Whew. First segment, getting us fired up for our day. All right, get ready. Three, two, and one. We lateral hop, down, four climbers. That chest is going to get dynamite today. Woo! Because we'll revisit it later. Come on. 20 seconds to go. Maybe you add a push up in every once in a while. Knowing that this is your last round of burpees. All right, you're down to the ground, finishing off, chest press. Let's get right there. Lie all the way back. Little single doubles. Single, single, double. Whew. Work all the way to the buzzer. You'll have a minute of recovery, or 40 seconds, I think, actually. 40 seconds recovery. With just enough time to stand, grab a little sip of water, and then we start our Imam block. And rest. Whew, all right. Grab a little sip. You need weights for bicep curls. You need your kettlebell. And you need weights for bent over flies. So switch out any weights that you think you need to switch out. We're starting with 15. Bent over flies. If you need to scale that back to 10 or 12, you do that. So we're gonna go 15 bent over flies followed by 10 jumping jacks or 10 star jumps. That's just like an explosive jack, okay? I'm gonna let you know when you have about 15 to 20 seconds left in that, um, in that minute because I definitely want you to have recovery. 
you'll get burnt out if you don't have a little bit of recovery, okay? Let's grab those weights for bent over flies, anywhere between 10 to 15, followed by 10 jumping jacks or star jumps. Get ready, hinge over, here we go, bend out flies, right up to the side. Target 10 to 15. Nice job. You want to follow that up with either 10 jumping jacks or 10 star jumps. You've got 25 seconds. 25 seconds to go. Nice job. Our next move is 8 to 10. Single arm bicep curl to a clean. The clean can be a double curl if you prefer. Grab your weights. All right, do the first one together. Eight to 10 of these. All right, let's go. Single arm bicep curl. Let's go. Up one, single, single, and either a double or a clean. So that's one rep. Single, single, double curl or a clean. That's two reps. You want to get to eight to 10. Remember your clean actually comes from power from the hips and the core as you drive up. Eight to 10 of these. You've got 20 seconds and I need you to take a little bit of rest. So if you don't get to 10, don't worry about it. Grab your kettlebell as you're resting. We've got 20 to 30 kettlebell swings coming up. 20 to 30. Right here, kick the hips back. Let's go, 20 to 30. Remembering your kettlebell swing is simply a hinge and a plank. Hinge from the hips, plank at the top. It's the drive of the hips and the glutes that helps get that kettlebell up there. We're looking at 20 to 30. Keep going. Keep going. You've got 25 seconds. Good work, good work. Keep going. Coming up on 25 seconds. Can you get eight in at least? 
We've got 15 seconds. I do want you to have a little rest. Kettlebell is in action here. Or a dumbbell. If you don't have a kettlebell, use a dumbbell for swings. Just grip tight. Five, three, two, one. Let's go. Hinge, plank, drive from the hips. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Whoo! Ah, all right. We're coming in. Fifteen bent over flies. Ready? Pick up those weights. Nice. If you need to single arm it, you go ahead. Or get in less reps of the fly. Woo. Don't break form no matter what you do. seconds. 20 seconds. Heart rate should be up. We're doing single, single, and clean or a double on the curls. Whew. Grab your weights. Five seconds. Here we go. Single, single, double or a clean. There you go. That's it, nice. Thirty seconds. Can you get to eight? Can you somehow get to eight? 13 seconds for rest. Swings are next. Whew. Five seconds. 20 to 30. Get there. Let that eye gaze be like two feet in front of you. Less than 25. Great job, great job, yes. Nice, good work. 
15 seconds. I want you to have some level of recovery. We've got single arm, bicep curl to the clean. Here we go. Super quick. If you're working with heavier weights, your grip gets challenged here. All right, you got a lot of pulling going on. Let's go, let's go. All right. Kettlebell swings. Woo! Three. 20 to 30 last seat, Mom. Here we go. Kick those hips back. Weights in your heels. Nice form. That looks great. yourself a little rest. Get rid of those kettlebells. You're going to lean them. All right. We're coming back into that one minute. One minute of work. Three exercises. We're going to be doing chest flies on the ground with a glute bridge. One side only. So on the ground, you'll have these weights. They're not going to be as heavy as your chest press if you're using really heavy weights. Palms are gonna face one another. We're gonna plant the left foot on the ground. We're gonna take that right foot only on the heel. Toe is lifted, it's kinda like this position. My right? toe is lifted. From here, we're gonna extend those arms out to a fly. As you come up for the fly, you're gonna bridge up, crunch that knee in. So it's down and up. So you're getting a glute bridge at the same time, you're getting a chest fly. From there, you're gonna just come into these windshield wiper abs. And I'm gonna, you don't have to use a target, but I'm gonna use a dumbbell just because it helps me to know that I wanna get up and over something, right? So my hands are gonna be right behind me, I'm coming up and over. If you wanna scale this back, scoot your glutes in, bend your knees. It'll be a little bit more manageable in the hip flexors. The more you extend the legs, the harder it is. And then we're gonna do the chest fly with the opposite glute, okay? So your chest fly uh, weights shouldn't be too heavy because you're gonna do two rounds of it. You're just alternating which glutes you're using. Okay, here we go. 13 seconds, make sure your weights are squared away. Lie down on the ground. Weights in hand, palms facing one another. I'd rather you start with lighter weights and then bump up if you can. Left foot down. Side. Let's let's come in, drive with the knee, and then back out with the arms and the heel. So you're you're getting a blue bridge on the left at the same time that you're working your chest fly. So we are working for a minute, and there's a reason why I put this in on your minute. So I want you to take your time and work with really good form. If it feels sloppy, take the glue bridge and do it on its own. So that means you would just perform one fly and one glue bridge, right? So you can do that. That is an option. You can break down the move so it's more manageable. 
Alright, and rest. So, taking one weight so that you have a target. Extend your, your legs as long as, um, as long as feels right for you. We're going up and over these windshield abs. Place your hands, palms on the ground, fingertips towards your bottom. Let's go. We're going up and over. One minute of work. I want you to scoop out the abdominals. Get a C curve in the spine. And I will show you next round how to challenge this if you already are working with straight legs. Up and over. Snap up at the hips a little bit. A little bit of a snap. So you really get into that low belly, psoas muscle, hip flexor muscle. You can always scale back by just stepping over one leg at a time. Right? So you keep on moving. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Lie down on the ground, grab those weights. Arms start out, slight bend in the elbows. Right heel on the ground this time. And come it up. So as you come in for the chest fly, you're driving up that right glute and bringing the left knee in. Be sure to lift the bottom off the ground. Get a squeeze in the glutes. So this movement is definitely a little slower and more controlled. I especially want you to control the move on the way down, dropping those hips to the floor slowly. So you really target that right glute and hamstring. And rest. So if you want to make this windshield wiper a little harder, take the dumbbell, put it the tall way, so it's up on the, on the butt of the dumbbell, just like this. Rest like that on the ground. And now you can perform your up and overs a little bit more challenging into the hip flexors in the low belly. Either way, keep moving. Either way. Come on, it's a lot of work for those hips. 20 seconds, you can always go up and over. Just try to stabilize the core as you do this. All right, very little movement in that core. Focus on strength. We're gonna have to be quick. Three, two, and one. So we're back to the top. We're on, actually, we're on the other side, through bridge. Right, coming down, Woo. elbows out wide, right foot's on the ground this time, actually left foot, left foot, Woo. I'm going to get confused, here we go, yes, because it's the second round through, <laughs> oh. slowly controlled, coming out to the side, working that chest, Keep on moving. Almost there. 
Good, and rest. I actually want you to stay in this position because we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna go right back to the other leg right now. All right, so uh, lie all the way down. So now your opposite leg is on the floor. Elbows out nice and wide, and we're coming up. So we're skipping that windshield wiper just this, um, just this round, and we're back to back on the fly. So this motion of a chest fly is a little bit more taxing because the weights are further away from the shoulder joint. So it allows you to work with a little bit lighter weight and to be able to lift up those hips, it makes sense. We're not, we're not using our heaviest weight in our arms, so we're not putting any additional strain on that back. Good. Back to that windshield wiper. Whew. Looking good, looking good. So see where you're gonna put that dumbbell? You're gonna put it the vertical way or just lying down and we're in. After this, we'll follow up with chest fly and glute bridge on the right, chest fly and glute bridge on the left. And we go into our last working EMOM. You guys are working the full way today. Twenty seconds. Whew. Do whatever you need to do to get there with good form. Trying to maintain that C curve in your spine. Very nice. Great work over there. It's good, Amy. Nice. Nice, Jen. It's good. Two and one. Awesome. We've got glute bridge and fly on the right, glute bridge and fly on the left. Elbows out wide. One leg down. Let's go. Crunch in. Let your flies be either in line with your shoulder or just under. And when I say under, I mean more, uh, more towards your rib cage, right? So we don't want to extend those arms up to the side way over the head. Either in line with the shoulder or just below. And rest, and then we're just gonna get the other side. It's your last move in this round. And we've got our EMOM on the other side, uh, the EMOM to finish. Here we go, come on down. Opposite leg, opposite foot's on the floor. And we're in. Slow, controlled, moving with precision. There we go. 
and rest. All right, awesome. So from here, we've got a starting point of eight to 10 two count push ups, followed by a plank target tap. So this is how this will look you're gonna place two dumbbells right out in front of you. All right, so I have, let me show you, you'll be able to see, here's my dumbbells, there we go. All right, so my dumbbells are right out in front of me, just about shoulder width apart. From here, I'm gonna take a two count push up. So I'm gonna go down, two, up, two, and I'm gonna tap that dumbbell. And I'm gonna to try to tap on the farthest part, part of that dumbbell. So I'm gonna take eight to 10 of those. Down for two, up for two, tap on the right, tap on the left, that's one rep, right? Um, that's our first move. Second move, we're gonna be doing some squats, squat thrusters, plank jacks, and renegade rows. That's all in one, okay? So we'll probably do that together because you only have to do one round of it. And so you want weights for the squat and the squat thruster, you want those weights near you somewhere, okay? Again, ready? Got about 20 seconds, and we're going. This is gonna take us 12 minutes. This puts us like two minutes past eight o'clock. If you have to go, I understand. I don't take any offense to that. Um, if you can stick around, it is 12 minutes long. All right, ready? Here we go, down in plank position. Let's go. Down, two, up, two, tap, tap, that's one. Down, two, up, two, tap, tap, that's two. Down, two, up, two, tap, tap, that's three. Down, two, up, two, tap, tap, that's four. Down, two, up, two, tap, tap, again. Down, two, up, two, tap, tap. We got two more, let's get them in. Get this in. So you've got 15 seconds. I suggest you take it to rest. We're gonna do four squats, four squat thrusters, four plank jacks on the ground, four renegade rows. Grab your weights. Here we go, four squats. Down one, two, three, Grab those weights right at your shoulders for a squat thrust. Down, press overhead. One, two, three, four. Place the weights on the ground. Hands on the ground, plank position, four plank jacks. Go one, two, three, four. Renegade rows, we have four of those. Feet are wide. Pull up on the right, pull up on the left, pull up on the right, pull up on the left and rest. That's your round. Nice job. Good work sticking with that. We've got 15 seconds. We're going to do 20 two count in out abs. I know, I told you to stand up. Come down to the ground. Here's my target. My weight is, my weight is on the butt. We're going to go in, out, side, side. Ready? Hands support you. Scoop out the back. Let's go one, one, two, two, three, Three, get to 20. If you fatigue too much to a point of real discomfort in the back, drop your heels to the ground. Tap, tap, get to 20. And when you get there, you're good. Lay out your dumbbells. We've got 15 seconds. So this is that two count push up. Plank target tap. Down on the ground. A ready position. Whew. All right, up in that plank. Here we go. Down for two. Down. Two, up, two, tap, tap. Now as you tap, I want your hips to stay level. Imagine flashlights on your hip bones, your frontal hip bones, and I won't want them to move to the right or left. I want them to stay directly pointing down. 
Target is eight to 10 reps. Last time we got an eight, maybe you got in more. It's not a single count push up. That's what makes this movement slower. It's a two count. For me, this is eight. You've got 10 seconds. Grab those weights. Four squat, four thrusters, four plank jacks, four renegade rows. Let's go. Whew. Weights at your shoulders, squat thrust, just four of them. Use the power of the legs and hips. Drive overhead. One more. That's it. Plank jacks. We go. One, two, three, four. Widen that stance. Let's row. One, two, three, four. Rest. Whew. Down on the ground. It's our body's natural tendency to just stand up, huh? We just want to keep standing. Or either that or we're just down on the ground. <laughs> All right. I think it's because we're just ready to move, right? We go right up to standing because we're just ready to move again. All right, five seconds, 22 counts. So yes, it's really 40. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good, get to 20. Good, I see, I can see some obstacles in your way over there, Alex. You just gotta work around them. <laughs> Nice job, guys, nice job. 20 seconds of rest once you get those 20 in, all right? Almost there, halfway. We're going into two count push-ups, right? So make sure those weights are about shoulder width apart. Five seconds and we go. Slow down the push-up, right? Here it is, down, two, up, two, tap, tap, that's one. Twenty seconds. Can you get another rep in, maybe? Fifteen seconds. Wanting the rest. <sighs> Grab those weights. All right. Here we go. Four squats. Down. <sighs> Up to your shoulder. Full squat thrust. Four plank jacks. And let's renegade up. Keep those hips down. And rest. Nice. Awesome, awesome. If you're working with some lighter weights, you want to get in some extra renegade rows, I'm all for it. Two count in and out. See, I stood up. Two count in and out. Which means 40 total. Here we go. Scoop out the belly, and you're in. One, two, full leg extension if you can.
Awesome. We're coming in. You got 20 seconds. It's our last round. All right, our last round of work takes us three minutes. And I'm looking for you to do the, the max that you can, right? So leaving yourself 10 to 15 seconds rest, right? I'll, I'll count them out. If we're at 30 seconds, I want you to keep going. It's the last round we're gonna do today. Push up here. Let's go. Down, two, up, two, tap, tap. That's one. Twenty eight seconds. Twenty seconds. Can you get one more in? There's ten. Stand up. Grab your weights. Two, one. Let's go. Let's get five in. One. Two, three, four, five to the shoulders. Let's get five. One, two, three, four, five plank jacks. Come on, come on. Here we go. And to make it even, we're gonna go for six on the renegade row. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Can you go for eight? Come on. And rest. In and out. This is where you finish, my friends. 40 in and out abs. Mating. If we finish 40 and we've got 25 seconds to spare, I want you to keep going. Ready? Let's go. Nice pace. Twenty five seconds. Can you keep going? Yes. See, you've got this. You've got this. Twenty seconds. Can you keep going? You've got nothing to lose. You might slow down. You might have to modify. Ten seconds. Can you go all the way? Five seconds, four, three, two, yes, and one. Nice job. Woo! Awesome, awesome work, guys. Woo! You guys, great, great job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end your recording. I know some of you guys probably have to really run and get logged into work, but awesome job. Make sure you stretch out those hip flexors today. Stretch out your chest. If you got a foam roller or a tennis ball, a lacrosse ball, get into those muscles and make sure that you loosen up, get a good stretch going on.